Welcome to J Dude's Review. Today I'm gonna be reviewing WWE Backlash 2020. Oh, I usually have something to drink with this. Never mind. The Apollo Crews El Dante El Dante Dante Del Dante El Dante, El Dante match for a US title was a solid match with some cool spots to boot despite the predictable interference. The women's tag team tail match between Bailey actually it was a three way. It was Bailey and Sasha Banks, Alicia Bliss and Nikki Cross, and the iconics Billy Kay and P. Royce or something like that. But it was also a solid bout with a nice finish to boot. The Jeff Hardy Sheamus match was a pretty good bout with Sheamus dominating most of it. The Raw Women's Tile match between Nia Jax and Ascara Elkana. Nice. Elkana? Like. Escada, Escake was a tip, was tip top, but the double count and he ruined it. The handicap match for the Universal Tile that's Braun Strowman against John Morrison the Miz was totally useless of a filler. Was a totally useless filler for a tile defense. Yeah, I'm pretty awful on my water. The WWE title match between Bobby Lashley and Drew McIntyre was a physical smash mouth brawl. And get ready to... The... The... Great... Great... I can't say this. I can't say this. I can't... The greatest wrestling match ever between... <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that part. I'll just say this. The main event between Edge and Ryan Orton was an awesome back and forth fantastic bout despite the wacky camera angles, crowd dubbing, and too many false finishes. Too many false finishes. I give this event a 6 out of 10, a 6 out of 10.